beautiful people working on my TikTok. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I got a few messages here for someone that is suffering through some heartbreak and loss, okay? It kind of looks like someone here actually went through um, possibly a hard breakup here. You have emotional loss and emotional withdrawal. There's a need to actually do some shadow work here, sweetheart, okay? Because someone here is definitely going through... Um, a hard time by themselves, suffering in silence here, okay? Also mental conflict, trying to make a decision, but failing to, okay? Because there's a lot of things going on in your head, all right? And I get it. Um, however, there is a need to actually look at this situation from a different perspective, sweetheart. First of all, we need to take responsibility for some of our actions and things like this, all right? A lot of times we want relationships because fear of being alone here, fear that we're not going to find the people that we want in our life and things like this, okay? Um, some people really, really, really are going through the dark night of the soul here where they're starting to look at everything, what's, what they feel is wrong in their life. There's a need to actually kind of um, gain a different perspective of this situation here. Sweetheart, you might be a feeling alone at this time, but you're not. You have to look at it like this. If we're in relationships constantly and we have other things distracting us, Source has a hard time trying to reach us, okay? So don't look at um, being alone, uh, single as a bad thing, sweetheart. Right about now, you got everything going for you. It's just your perception of how you're looking at this situation, okay? There's a need to actually go with the flow here. Um, if something is actually closed out here with the number 10, if there's an ending, allow it to happen, okay? You need to focus on healing and, and calming your spirit here, all right? And like I said, do some shadow work. Um, look at the part that you played in a relationship and ask yourself, did you allow someone to cross your personal boundaries? Do you have personal boundaries here? Maybe that's something that we actually need to work on here, all right, with the shadow work as well. So it's just telling you, I want you to take the lead, okay? Um, don't get down in the dumps, stay in, um, in that dark place. Um, where depression, sadness, anxiety, question is questioning yourself, what's wrong with me? What's wrong with me? It's nothing wrong with you, sweetheart. Sometimes we have to take responsibility for the things that we allow in our life, okay? The people that we allow. Sometimes you might find out, sweetheart, that you're actually lowering your standards for people that don't deserve to be in your, your essence, okay? very beautiful people here. Whoever this is has a very kind soul and it kind of looks like you might have been taking advantage over someone that saw that you, you had lax boundaries here, okay? And I get it that you feel like, you know, if I'm loving on you, I shouldn't have to have this cast iron wall built, but you got to you got to remember, not everybody out there has a heart like you do, okay? There's people out there that have been hurt and, um, you know, they have malicious intent on hurting others, okay? This is how they get their, their pleasure, all right? So you have to have boundaries. You have to recognize those red flags and learn when to not go past go. You understand learning to stop. And I always say that those red flags are like you standing um, at an intersection, okay? And those red flags are basically traffic crossing in front of you, okay? You don't want to actually step across uh, into the crosswalk, into that traffic, okay? You're going to get swept away. We already know that collision is going to happen, and here we have a mess that we're trying to fix, all right, and heal from. So learn to recognize those red flags and um, be disciplined and learn when to tell yourself, no, I might like this person. We might vibe, but there's something here that's not healthy for them, and it's definitely not healthy for me, all right? So learn to say no, Right about now, you might be feeling a little sad, isolated here. You might be doing this on purpose, sweetheart, but you got to get back out there, okay? New beginnings here. It's okay to take some time to self-reflect, all right? But don't stay isolated. It's time to move forward, okay? Get your, get your power back. Take your power back, all right? Realize that um, you are a loving human being, but there are some boundaries that have been crossed here. 
So you need to make a dedicated effort in order to heal here, all right? And please don't lose faith. You know what I'm saying? Just tap into your higher power and ask your source for um, clarity about the situation. What is it that you need to do? Um, ask source to show you um, the, the, how can I say, the vulnerable spots in your, your, um, in your boundaries here, in that fence that you have around you, okay, that protective hedge, there's some holes there and somebody was able to get through, okay, and I understand that, um, you know, it's kind of hard walking around, you got this 10 foot wall up, but like I said, sweetheart, the world that we live in today, we got more people that want to take advantage of you and hurt you than we do people that actually want to love on you, okay. So like I said, you know, have faith, set up some boundaries here, take responsibility for the part that you play in relationships as well. You understand what I'm saying? Because we, we don't want that victim consciousness. Sometimes, you know, we actually do things that are kind of, you know, maybe kind of toxic to the other person too. And they're like, yeah, that I can't deal with that. There might be some codependency issues. Some people might be a little bit clingy. Some people like clingy, other people's don't, you know what I mean? So you have to figure out what it is, um, that we need to work on in relationships. But whatever these dark times are, sweetheart, you have to go ahead and release yourself from this so that you can have some freedom here, okay? All right, and freedom to move on to another connection. Look at the bigger picture. All right, this may have been a divine connection here, a soulmate. Um, this could have been a karmic that came into your life to teach you some type of lessons here to love yourself more and not give so much to someone that's not giving back to you. All right. You may be procrastinating on healing here because you're focusing on the rejection here. All right, but you got to remember, and I know it's like an old cliche, but it's true. Sometimes rejection is God's protection. You understand? Some of these people really, really, really should not be in your life, and it's for your own detriment. Um, it's to your own detriment. That's one of the reasons why sources like, hey, check this out. This is oil and water. I don't care how you shake it up. It's not going to blend well. So we need to separate ourselves from this because your spirit is not equally yoked with this person. Okay. Um, surround yourself by people that love on you, your family, your spirit tribe, those that are on your team. And then also learn to uh, use your discernment when it comes to certain family members and so-called friends and stuff like that, that are not healthy for you too. So you got to use your discernment here. All right. And um, learn how to make healthy choices in your life, all right, in all areas, your money, your relationships, your spirituality, okay, and also where you decide to set roots at, okay, because that also matters as well, all right, so it says, you have happy news, your prayers, I'm sorry, your prayer is answered in a creative way, so sources is about to show up and show out in your life in ways that you would never expect it, be open to it, but be open to healing first, all right, it says, keep going. Use the energy of any disappointments to fuel your creative project with authentic emotions. Baby, you are your creative project, okay, right about now. You can be working on something, whatever, but the biggest project that you have is you, okay? Healing and making sure that you're moving into healthy relationships, having healthy boundaries. And if you actually have children or decide to have children, you teach what teach them what you learned off the bat, okay? So that they don't have to go through a lot of this heartache and disappointment. And then it says, vulnerability listen to your vulnerable feelings as they contain wisdom and inspiration and then pray for strength to focus on your priorities no matter what I told you pray about it sweetheart give it to source and uh like i said you know ask for help that's what source is there for and what you'll start noticing is not only we <laughs> source start dropping some diamonds on you that's that little that little um that wisdom, okay, you'll start seeing people gravitate towards you that actually pour um, positivity into your life. You know, um, they they water you, they help you grow, okay, and you them as well, all right? So 
Yeah, just be mindful of uh, the people that come into your life and look at the big picture. This is not happening to you. It's actually happening for you because there's some things that we need to turn around and look at that mirror and face and work with within ourselves, okay? This is what I have for you this time. And if you want a personal reading with me, go to my website in the notero1122.com. And you can also check me out on YouTube in the notero1122. All right, take care. Bye.